Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Right here, you can see the Tour de France. So uh, let's go. It's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be great. Venga. Venga, venga. All right, guys, I met some Spanish people here. <laughs> Where are you from in Spain? Spain. Yeah, Zaragoza, Madrid. San Sebastián. Ah, San Sebastián. La canciones? Sí. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Guys, I have arrived now. So I say thank you. Gracias. Buen día. Buen día. All right, so we are going to go camping and just look at this, this view. Let's go. I've been walking for two kilometers now since I left the people who hitchhiked me it was some Spanish people from San Sebastian Pretty uh, nice people that took me from hitchhiking And yeah, clock is already 15 p.m. so I'm a bit in a hurry here The forest down there is where I'm going uh, Because I need some shelter, it's quite windy and uh, yeah, I can find rocks, so the rock shelter will be for, uh, for next time. Yeah, let's just get down. Right, so this was the spot you could see from uh, up over there. It looks great because you can see uh, the wood is here. There's a little uh, plain area where I can uh, find a flat space. And yeah, just look at this view, man. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. Yeah, if you're wondering what I'm listening to, it's just like music because uh, sometimes it's a bit boring just to just to be here. So yeah, but uh, I'll try to find best camping spot as possible. So let's go. Alright, guys. So I think I found the camping spot here for tonight because look, it's it's flat. This is uh, this can uh, serve as a wind uh, wind uh, shield, and uh, I can see myself having a fire here. I don't have a tent, so uh, so I will camp without a tent. I will make my own shelter. As you can see, the sky is grey, so I will have to, to protect myself if it uh, rains potentially. So let's just get going because we don't have a lot of time. Just need a couple more of these and then I will put some spruce over. And that will do the job. Got a little seat here. Now I got the wood up, up here. So I need to take some spruce on now. Good news is that there's spruce right here. So the idea is to put the spruce all over the, the wood here. Alright guys, the shelter is finished here, look. Oh, this is great. Alright. I'm covered. Now I have to start the fire. Because I need, I, I'm really thirsty and I have to boil the water from the river over there. And I'm really hungry also, and uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's start, let's uh, get the food going. This could actually be a good cooking stone for the steak. Uh, yeah. I'm just making a fire pit. I don't know what kind of bone this is, but you can definitely hear it's a bone. Don't know what type. Yeah, you can see the, all of these trees, uh, they are black. You actually look at this one. Here, it's been completely burned out. 
because in summer this is a really dry place there's a lot of sun and heat and in winter of course it's different but it's uh, be careful all right you can see all of this uh, red thing this is inflammable this will be my fire starter I've got my brigade here Hope. all right everything is ready I'm going to turn the fire on now Got a little water spot here. This, is, this will do. Just have to boil the water because we never know up from there what happens. <sighs> Going to put this rock on. I will cook my steak on. Got my steak here. Night has fallen guys, take my head torch out here and my steak seems to be seems to be ready here. Need to check if my steak is, is on point or not. Alright guys, the steak is actually great. Uh, so yeah, time to eat. Just need to put the because it was on a rock. So I need to, to put all the black away. And then I got my vegetables in this. Hard. This steak is so great, guys. A little piece of bread and some vegetables. Oh. Alright, guys, I left my stuff here uh, 100 meters from the camp so that I, I will ensure that if there's a bear, there will be no problems. Here in the Pyrenees, there are quite a lot of bears, so yeah, quite a few. It was great to eat a bit of food and now it's just great to chill beside the fire. <laughs> Two pieces of wood right there. Oh. All right, guys, I've been here beside the fire the whole evening. I'm going to pee around the camp because uh, when you pee, it marks your territory. And then I'll take my sleeping bag out. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning, folks. Spent a good night. The mat it was a little hill, so I slipped kind of down. But uh, actually, I slept well. The rain and wind picked up during the night, but then it stopped, and my shelter protected me a little bit. Um, I'm going to drink, uh, boil some water, and make the breakfast, and uh, and then I will head home. So I've got my gas here. Got my gas. I'll make my breakfast with. So yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, but it's been a good night either way. Going to take the food back, guys. Leaving the shelter here behind to grab the food.
just packed my stuff, guys. As you can see, to free. But yeah, having this gas is, is great, man. You don't need to turn on the fire when you wake up, and yeah, that's great. That's great. The stone is starting to get hot. Here. It's beginning to look, it's beginning to look toasty, guys. Look at this color, guys. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. All right, guys. I don't have a lot of battery left, anyways. So I just cooked the uh, the food. So now it's time to pack and go home. It was an amazing time. Go watch my Instagram and my YouTube channel, Outdoor Ginger, because I'm ginger. So yeah, but uh, it was an amazing stay. See you next time. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I had an amazing stay. My Instagram channel has the same name. And yeah, what else to say than have an amazing day, folks.